Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In today's video, we are going to do some tests to see the performance of the MicroTit HAPAC2 running OpenWRT. So the test consists of normal throughput test, NAT, OpenVBN and WiGuard test, and finally we will do a Wi-Fi throughput test. In the previous video, I have a tutorial about installation of OpenWRT on the MicroTit HAPAC2. So you may check out the link on the video description if you want to find out more information. So first of all, let's log in to the Lucy page. So here is our routers and it is running OpenWRT snapshot versions and the kernel version is 5.4.93. So this is our interface and it's up and running just right here. And you can see the same on the OpenVPN status page. Let me establish a connection to the router via SHH and we can see the CPU uses when we are running the speed test. So here the 192.168.1.1 and let me change the appearance and change the phone a little bit. Make it 14. All right and open so root and the password so let's run edge top to see the cpu users this is our command line interface and it is currently showing edge top which is uh, something like a task manager where we can see the cpu users the ram and the swap memory so let me open speed test application all right and let's run it All right so let's go the first test result is not really good let's try a second one let's go So seems like we have a speed cap at 22 Mbps and on this side you can see that the CPU for one core go up to 100% Let's run the third test and see We can see that the average OpenVPN throughput on the MicroTit HAP AC2 running OpenWRT is 22 Mbps. OpenVPN only utilize a single core, so when the speed reach 22 Mbps, then the CPU uses increase to 100% for one core. Unfortunately, we can't do anything about this. Even though the router has ipq 401 soc comes with crypto engine feature the performance is not really good let's continue with the WireGuard VPN test this is my WireGuard VPN instance and it is connected to the same server where I run the OpenVPN servers all right so let's start the speed test let's go We can see that WhiteGuard utilizes all four cores and we are having around 80 Mbps download and around 150 Mbps upload. Let's try with another server. Great, we have average 200 Mbps throughput on the download and upload with all four cores reach around 70%. And the last test, let's try with M1.
we can see that the maximum throughput we have with the Microtech HAP AC2 running OpenWRT for WhiteGuard is around 200 Mbps. Let's move to another test, which is the throughput test. Before we start with the LAN throughput test, let me show you the network diagram that we will be using. So this is my PC and this is the Microtech router. The LAN's IP is 192.168.1.1. And the one interface of this router connected to the Habanero development kit and the IP address is 192.168.8.1. So on the one side, I have a server, the IPUB server 192.168.8.150. From the PC and the smartphone side, we will be connecting to the server from this IPUB server. First of all, let's check if we are able to reach the IPUB servers. So ping 192.168.a.150 and good, we have a response. Perfect. So now let's navigate to the iPub directory, which is C and then iPub. All right. And I will run the command. So iPub trees and then dash client and the IP of the server. I'm sorry, it's the A150 and let's go. We are having 738 megabit per second and the CPU uses only on a single core. So let's run the test one more time. The same thing, the CPU uses is only on a single core and this time it is 750. Let's rerun the test and let's go to Lucy and check it. All right, so this is the one interface, the A.20 is and on the real time wrap, we should be able to see the lot of traffic. ETH1 is our interface, so Let's run it one more time. Let's do another test with full duplex mode. So I will open the command line and then I will add dash D. Let's go. Oh, actually the dash D should be at the end of the line. So let's delete this one and edit it. With the one two LAN throughput test, we are having around 750 megabit per second. So let me set up the Wi-Fi, the 5 GHz Wi-Fi, and we will run the iPub test between this server and the smartphone running iPub. All right, so let's do it. We are ready. I will now connect my phone to the Wi-Fi, which is HAPAC2. On the Lucy page, we see a new associated station. So magic iPub. All right, so. This is how we do it. Dash C and then 192.168.a.150. And then on the port, we can just leave it blank. We are having 230 megabit per second on sender and receiver. Let's go to status, real time rough. And let's go to the traffic. So we should be able to see the WLAN just right here. And let me just run it one more time.
as you can see on the single line results we are having around 310 and then the speed dropped down to 290 and 194 and then 140 let's see if there are any cpu throttles or not and let me run the final test so in this time i will add dash d to use the full duplex all right let's go still it is utilizing a single core and we are having the same resolve at 240 megabit per second so far we have do some tests to find out the performance of the microtech hap ac2 running open wrt so with the ygot vpn we have up to 200 mbps download and upload and we only have 20 MBBS for YGOT. However, for OpenVPN, we only have 20 MBBS. All right. And in terms of LAN 2.1 throughput test, we reach 740 MBBS. And for the wireless test, the AC 5 gigahertz wireless test, we reach 230 or 35. So if you have any questions or idea or the way to improve it, please leave it in the comment section or share your thoughts on this. Thanks for watching and I will be see you all in the next video. Bye bye.